Morning everybody, welcome back to the UK. Really excited today because we're going to go explore the north of England. Always wanted to go to the north. We've only ever done the south and even more excitingly we are doing it all by the trains. If you've watched our last two Europe series you would have seen that both times we used URAL to get around Europe. But one thing that sucks is it doesn't work in the UK but we've worked out that there is something called Brit Rail and you can use this to get all around Scotland, Wales and the UK and we have two passes and we're heading to Liverpool and I'm very excited. So this series is going to show you guys how easy it is to travel around the UK using the train. So we've just got our passes and we've come out to the Euston train station because we need to catch the National Rail Line towards Liverpool. So these are our passes here and we just went to the ticket office to speak to the nice gentleman who went and validated our ticket. You need to do this before you jump on your first train. <laughs> Morning guys, it's the next day and um, today's like a big sightseeing day here in Liverpool and I've taken Stephen to a place that he, he doesn't know where we are right now because I closed his eyes when we turned the corner. But, what do we see? Okay, so when I googled things to do in Liverpool, mm -hmm. in like a bunch of the top 10 lists was this thing called the Super Lamb Banana. The Super Lamb Banana. It's a sculpture. Okay. It's a Super <laughs> Lamb Banana. <laughs> when you told me that, it's I told you. half a lamb, half a banana. <laughs> I I don't know what I was expecting, but it's super and a lamb and a banana. <laughs> it's really, really big. But it's on the way to where we're going, so I thought I'll take you to the super lamb banana. So great, so great, so great. Yeah, yeah. We could, yeah, we could, yeah, we could stay here forever. So we've come down to the Mercy to jump on a ferry to go up and down just to get a better view of Liverpool. But if you guys didn't know, this is pretty much the birthplace of the Beatles and they have a Beatles museum here. But the best bit about the Beatles museum is they have a Fab Four cafe. So we can go get our morning coffee from a Beatles themed cafe. <laughs> I think it's just the thing to do here in Liverpool. Any Batman fans out there? How much does this building look like it's straight out of Gotham City? Like this whole skyline at the front of the water. Feel it now every time I leave. It hits me hard and it cuts me deep. I'm a thousand miles from high. So something unique about this ferry is that the artist who painted the front and all around the ferry, he also designed that iconic Beatles album, the Sgt. Pepper's album. So you My can kind of, favorite Beatles album. It's a good one. So you can kind of see his like design all through on the ferry. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. I hope that you enjoyed the show. <laughs> You look like a baby when they first learn to dance and they can't walk. I can't dance. <laughs> All I want to do is just listen to this album. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I Guys, we've now jumped off the ferry and I feel like while we're in Liverpool we have to do at least one thing that's like to do with the Beatles and there's a really famous street called Matthew Street and on that street is a pub called the Cavern Pub. That is basically where the Beatles got discovered so now they call that street the birthplace of the Beatles. So the Beatles played there well over 200 times it's just such a historical street in the music scene whether you enjoy the Beatles or not it's just you know, you, you walk through there and you can just see their influence just dripping everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
And look at these jackets. They're so oh 80s. So cool. These jackets are so cool. Alrighty guys, we just got back to our Airbnb where we're pretty much staying for the couple of nights that we're here in Liverpool. We thought we would give you a room tour. If you were interested in booking it, we will leave a link below for you. So it's you can a really go check good apartment. Out. We love Airbnb. And again, if you saw our London series, we stayed in an apartment there. And just staying in an apartment in the UK is awesome because I love being able to cook our own meals and kind of feeling like you've kind of got home comforts. But look, we have a full on kitchen. Yes, yeah, so we have a full-on kitchen. We have a like we have a freezer with a fridge. We have an oven, a microwave, kettle, so we can make some coffee. Have a bit of a lounge room just here, and honestly, it's like quite spacious. We have the bathroom just in here with a shower, toilet, and then this is where we've been sleeping. We're so affordable as well. Yeah. We're like in the heart of Liverpool right now. Yeah, the Liverpool One's shopping centre is like one block away. It's really good. So we've heard if you want to get really good views of Liverpool City, to go to the top of this cathedral, Liverpool Cathedral. So we're going to go up to the top. I must say this is the first cathedral I've ever been in with the neon light sign inside. But it is humongous in here. Alrighty, so something really unique about this cathedral and why we popped in, not only for the views, is that the designer of this cathedral made probably one of the most iconic designs in England, and that is the little red telephone box. Well, I mean, this is a miniature one, but all those telephone boxes you see around England and the UK came from this guy. So it's kind of cool. We're inside one of his creations with another creation just there. Oh. I found an even smaller one. They have a life-sized one. This is so big. Oh my goodness, it just opened up. <laughs> wow. This tower. Oh my gosh, Steve. <laughs> it's That's massive. It is. is it? Yeah. Oh. Let's get my morning exercise in. <laughs> kind of have to find these little viewpoints to get your view. Hey, Bobs. You can actually get a really good view of all the apartments and what the city looks like, like beyond in the suburbs from up here. It just looks like those traditional English houses. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that look at Liverpool. We're actually going to be spending quite a bit of time exploring the UK. So our next stop is Manchester. If you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Bye! Alrighty, see you later Liverpool. Next stop, Manchester. What are you doing, Jess? Ready? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I told you. This isn't even the proper room yet. This is just like the corridor. Oh my goodness. It literally feels like we're on the set of Harry Potter at the moment. The boxes on the hillside. The little boxes, little ticky-tacky, little